Hi, this screencast will walk you through um, running the PhoneGap installer and how to uh, use Xcode 4 of the new PhoneGap template. You should have a, have a download link from uh, the blog post I just uh, created on my website, blogs.nitobi.com slash shazrun, um, and downloaded this installer package, which is a beta. Uh, it's pretty complete. So download it somewhere and just run it. Use, as you can see here, um, I've listed the, um, the latest changes to the uh, installer. Um, I'll, let it, I'll let you read it for yourself, but the main changes are it includes the PhoneGap framework and the Xcode 4 template. Let's continue. Uh, install for me only. Uh, click on install and it should go pretty fast. So, if you successfully uh, installed it, you'll see it as an Xcode 4 section in this uh, readme. Um, there's one limitation um, with the Xcode 4 template, and it is here. Um, the www folder cannot be added as a folder reference uh, because of a bug in Xcode, the Xcode 4 template uh, specification. So, you must drag the www folder um, manually. Um, I'll walk you through how um, it's supposed to work. And let's just close this. Now we don't need this anymore. And I'll just launch Xcode 4. Uh, this startup dialog, we'll just cl click on create a new Xcode project. And under iOS application, you'll see a new item called PhoneGap Base Application. Uh, in there, I put the limitation again about dragging the www folder as folder reference. Again, because of Xcode 4 um, template specification bug, we can't add, we can't add it automatically. I'll click on next, and I'll add my test app and add your company identifier and it should add the bundle ID automatically uh, based on your company identifier. Click next, select the location, put it on my desktop and there you go. Okay, so when you create a new project, if you try to build it, um, I selected the iPhone 4 simulator just so that you can run it in the simulator and you can see it in, this, in the screencast. So if I just build it once, Command B, you'll see you'll get an error, build failed. And if you click on the, the exclamation, or the red exclamation mark, you'll see on the left under the uh, issue navigator, there's a shell script failure. So let's let's take a look at it. Collapse this, and you'll see warning: um, you're missing a www folder. Um, you need to add this www folder as a folder reference before PhoneGap can run. Um, I'll show you how to do that. But first, let's try running it anyway without the www folder. Let's see what happens. Error. Uh, it should show error start page at www dot slash um, index dot HTML was not found. Um, all right. And if you look at your console log, you'll see the same. So how do you add it? I go back to your Xcode 4 um, project, click on the project navigator, and click on your um, the root of your um, project, which is my test app in, in this case, and right click on it, show in binder. You will see right beside your Xcode project file, there's a www folder. 
that was just created for you, which includes um, the sample index.html and the phonegap.js file. All you need to do is drag and drop this www folder right under your target uh, project root and a sheet should drop down. And in this sheet, it's important if you select the second radio button, create folder references for any added folders. Select that, click on finish, and try running it, it again in the simulator. Command R. Stop the current instance. And you'll, you'll see, phone gap is working. There you go. Just edit your index.html to your uh, liking and you're good to go. Also, please follow bugs at um, github.com slash phone gap slash phone gap dash iPhone slash issues. There's some of the issues of the uh, export for template. Um, it will add some uh, undesired items in your um, bundle resource uh, package. Um, it's re relatively harmless, but if you want to get rid of them, um, I'll show you how. So if you go to your source navigator, you build it, you'll, you'll see a warning about, about an item, undesired item in the bundle resource. Let's go to the uh, build phase that contains all the files that are copied over. If you go back to your project navigator, click on your project icon, and click on the build phases tab, expand the copy bundle resources item, you'll see the items that are contained in it. The warning was complaining about this file, the, this plist that shouldn't be in there. So you can select that. There's several other items that are in here also uh, that you can delete like the uh, appdelegate.h and this readme from the plugins folder. Select all of them, then just hit delete. These, uh, this is a result of the Xcode 4 template, adding these items, thinking they're resources because they're not compilable source files. So that's it. If you go back to your source navigator and you command B to build again, the issue should, the warning should go away.